Now, charities are being hit really hard by thieves who are after a surprisingly valuable commodity. Second-hand clothes just like these. Now, the price of old clothing has rocketed over the past few years. It can now be sold for around £1,000 a tonne abroad, which means, of course, that the clothes are highly desirable to criminals. Now, John Jones from Smartwater is working with a national charity to stop clothes being stolen. So, John, tell us about the problem that you're dealing with. Well, it's clear that the, the problem is um, being perpetrated by, the thefts are being perpetrated by organised crime gangs throughout the UK. And the work that we've done at Smartwater uh, indicate that uh, vast quantities are being taken. You say vast quantities. We're not talking about a few bags here, no, are we, John? No. We're talking about, it's estimated around £50 million a year, which this business is costing. So it's, it's huge. That's a good estimate. Yeah, it's absolutely huge. And we're not, again, it's not just bags. Our, our, these criminals are actually stealing, at times, skip loads of these clothes. Yes, there is evidence that um, the, the clothing banks that belong to the charities are being taken. So the, the contents are being stolen and the, the, the banks are actually being scrapped for the scrap value of the metal. Unbelievable, isn't it? And at the very least, these charities are massively out of pocket when these people are genuinely wanting their clothes to go to the charities to raise obviously valuable funds. They're out of pocket and the criminals are benefit benefiting financially from these. Absolutely, and that's what we're doing. We're working very hard at Smartwater to try and um, increase the revenue that the charities can actually earn from the clothing that they deserve. Now, one of the things that you're doing with your company <coughs> is taking a very proactive uh, response to this. Um, now, what we have here is some clothing which has been marked with an invisible dye that you guys can put on the clothing. Uh, what we have here is clothing that hasn't been marked Absolutely. and I want to just show people at home how you can test for this. Now if we just dim the lights <coughs> slightly, this is just some clothing I've picked up here. Shine your, your special light on that. That doesn't really show up anything at all. No smart does water. You, um, fluoresces it's, under UV light. Okay, so you've got none of your, your dye on here. Nope. Now if we show what's inside this bag here, I don't know if you can just see this at home. Have a look now. Shine your light on that. There bright green. This has been treated with smart so water, a unique <coughs> forensic code for each bag and in each bag as well there will be a tracking device so that when the thief takes the bag we know exactly where it is. Um, so the two linked up. So you can go with the police to the, to the yes. place where you've tracked it to. The clothing's going to be marked yes. and also I'd imagine <coughs> the, uh, the van that's been used to take this is going to be covered in it as well yes. and not just that. I'm sure the, your hands the individual gonna as well. <laughs> You're going to have it yes. on your hands. I'm if you marked. look at my hand I've got none of that stuff on there at all. And that so definitively least... links the criminal back to the crime. Uh, and he can't have, or she can't have got it on any other way. Brilliant. Really, really good that so you can mark it. So they can run, but they certainly can't hide. And they will be caught well and truly red-handed, or certainly green-handed anyway. Thanks for that, John. Absolutely. Really good My advice pleasure. there.